hello friends so last time we did this purchase report and now in this video i am going to show you how we can make this sales report so you can see first i click on sales report here we have to add start date and end date but before that we have to add here username in this table billing header because now we have to make partition like that who is going to create this bill so for that purpose we need to add here username so in billing header in structure i am going to add one more field after bill number here i am going to take username and save now you can see now we have this username username is empty right now so we are going to fire one update query and we are going to fill here username So now you can see now we have this admin now when we are going to generate this bill like sales master from here we have to set this parameter because we added in table so i am going to open this page page name is sales underscore master so this is my sales underscore master and here you can see in this billing header i am going to pass that parameter so here i am going to pass that parameter dollar underscore session admin now here you can see right now we have this seven entry so i am going to generate one more bill bill generated successfully and now we are going to check here now you can see we have this eighth entry and here we can see this username so this is fine now we are going to start coding for this sales report so for this sales report first of all we have to copy this purchase report design so i am going to open this purchase report first this is the purchase report now you have to just copy these things for this form i am going to just copy this i am going to open the sales master uh, not sales master sorry let me check the page name view underscore bills okay so i am going to open this view underscore bills and here you can see after this row fluid you have to check here where is the row fluid yeah this is the raw fluid so i am going to remove this first and in place of this i just paste it now here you can see in our view bills right now we have start date and end date and here also we have to add one column so for this i am going to add bill generated by and here we have to print username so here i added username okay so now here we can see this oh what is the problem okay 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 after bill number so just cut this from here and here so now this is perfect now we have to write code for this date so here only this is very easier here we have to write just if condition if is set don't score post submit one like our last video and otherwise else so in else we have to add this table i am going to just this cut this and i am going to paste here now i am going to refresh this you can see we are getting this directly 
now again i am going to just copy these things just copy and i am going to paste here and now here in this query billing header where we have to check our column name date okay date greater than equal to and date less than equal to here we have to pass and here we have to pass dt2 now we are going to check here oh here you can see calendar is open here also calendar is working now we have to check we have one bill 4th september so i am going to check here 3rd september to 5th september so you can see we are getting only one entry when we are going to clean search we are getting one entry so this way we can generate sales report Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like my video, then please like it and share it. Thank you so much again.